It's that time again for some more Mac Mini coverage. Now I'm only going to be talking about the Intel one which is on the bottom here. Um, the last video we upgraded it but as you guys saw we couldn't get into the operating system because of the password on the account. The top one is a G4 system. Um, I'm just putting it there to remind everyone that I have it and there are videos on this G4 system to come. So in this video we are going to actually prepare this Mac Mini for my use. Now, I did burn a DVD. This is a Mac OS X Lion DVD um, because I lent mine to someone and I haven't had it back. But these are very crappy DVDs and it did not work. So, I'm going to have to resort to a slightly trickier method, but it is going to make a quite a fun video. This will probably be a short one compared to the last one, guys, but nevertheless, it'll be pretty interesting. So I am pointing the camera at the display and we're going to boot up the Mac Mini. So here we go. And I'm going to hold down Command S. Basically, uh, this boots into single user mode or it boots into sort of like a terminal command prompt where you can, uh, you know, pretty much control the system however you want as long as you know the commands or you can research the commands. It's very handy. Um, I don't use it a lot. In fact, I've only used it like once or twice before, I think. But what I'm going to do is trick the Mac Mini into thinking that it's a brand new system. So it'll boot into um, the steps that you have on an OS X installer after it's installed. So making a user account and filling in all your information and whatnot. Now, after I've done all that, in theory, uh, both accounts should be there. The account that I just created and uh, James's account, but then I can go ahead and delete James's account because I'll also be an admin and everything will be great. So all we have to do is type mount dash uw space slash enter rm space slash var slash db slash space dot apple setup done. Boom. And then shutdown. This is a shutdown command dash h now. Enter. So the system will shut down. And in theory, when I boot the system back up, it should boot into what it thinks is, you know, its first boot. Um, so a fresh boot of the system. So let's turn it back on. Now, I have actually done it wrong by the looks of it because that is James Hunt's account right there. So we are going to have to boot up into single user mode again. I must have done a mistake, but that's OK. That's fine. So guys, attempt number two. Now, this writing is in fact um, too small for me to read. It's really small on this resolution, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, but let's just try this again. OK, now we're in business, guys. I did an extra space that I didn't need. So let's shut down the Mac. Perfect. So we're faced with a gray screen at the moment and it does pretty much look like it's gonna boot. There we go. Okay, so it says welcome. It looks just as if we installed this operating system um, a minute ago, but of course we haven't. It is literally, um, I do that every time guys, I should know by now. The enter key does not work. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great, great little uh, little command. And when I run through the setup, you guys should be able to see uh, it's detected it, even though I didn't reconnect really the antenna because they're right next to each other. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll connect it um, via Wi-Fi for the moment because I don't have an Ethernet cable plugged in. I should have done that, really. Okay, now this is where we're getting into it. This is where I reveal what I'm going to be using this Mac Mini for. So we're just going to call this, um, we'll call it Server 1 for now. And um, actually we'll say, say Mac Mini Server and Server 1. Now my password is going to be nice and secure. And this is... No one will ever guess this. And that has nothing to do with my password. Okay, so continue. Okay, so select time zone. London is good for me. Continue. Thank you, and we're done. So it looks like we've just set up a brand new Mac, but check it out, guys. Two accounts. 
So, we have James's account that we can't get into, of course, and then we have the account that I just made with my password. So, if I type that in, and within a little bit of time, boom, there we go. Brand new, fresh lion. This is such a cool way of doing things, guys, in my opinion. And I'm really quite pleased with that. I am chuffed. So, the next step that we're gonna do is something I need to do before I forget, and that is delete James's account, of course. So we're going to accounts. May take quite a while to delete it because he's got uh, hundreds of gigs worth of data. I believe this hard drive is nearly full. So, we type in my password. We'll go down to James and hit the minus, which will obviously delete his account. It's thinking about it. While that's spinning away, guys, let's just check the uh, specs on this system to see if it upgraded. And yes, it did. Two gigabytes of RAM, which is very cool. So we've essentially upgraded the hard drive, the RAM, and the operating system all in one. And it's worked out really well. So OK, system preferences is ready. Um, what does it say here? Delete the home folder, yes. We don't want to securely delete anything because that'll just take forever and we don't really need any security with those deleted files. They'll all disappear anyway, I won't be able to get them back. So, looks like it's being deleted. And then after a little while, if we go into about this Mac, more info, we should see um, the drive space. We should see more drive space coming back. So as you can see here, guys, it's still deleting the account and that's all the space that's being taken up by the account. So it's quite a lot, um, not a lot of free space at all. But once that account gets deleted, then I'll have all that free space back. I assume this is going to take a little while. So I'll be back with you in, yeah, when it's done, basically. OK, guys, so this is taking ages to delete. So we might as well get some stuff done while it's deleting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into sharing and First of all, I, I was just about to say I'm going to turn on screen sharing and file sharing, but it already is for some reason. So, yeah, cool. Screen sharing, um, I'm going to turn it on because I want to access the Mac Mini from my Mac Pro without um, always changing the KVM over all the time. Um, yes, okay, so screen sharing is on. I'll be able to... I'll be able to I'll be able to look at my Mac Mini, which is cool. Now, file sharing. Um, file sharing, I'll set up all of the options properly soon. But, yes, I would like Windows compatibility. But I won't do that yet. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. I want file sharing to be enabled, but I need to configure all of my external drives and stuff. So that'll probably be its own video. But for now, I can use screen sharing with the Mac Mini. So, um, hmm, Max Mac Mini. Okay, computer, computer name. Um, Mac Mini Server. That's a lot better. Um, computer from your local Mac can access a computer at Mac Mini Server local. That's great. Fantastic. Okay, so screen sharing is enabled. Um, let's go back to accounts. And it's still deleting his account, which is fine, you know. So, yes. We also need to rename the hard drive, actually, because it says James after it. So that's okay as well. If we just... Um, finder, preferences. Here they are. Show hard disks on the desktop, which is what I want anyway. We're going to call this uh, Mac Mini Internal for now, which is cool. And it should rename. I believe you can rename hard drives. Yeah, you can. Cool. So fabulous. We are getting sorted. Just waiting. Ah, James's account has disappeared. Fantastic. Looks like it's done. So if we go to about this Mac. The data should be gone, and I should have a load of free space on this computer. Let's take a look. Storage. 
Hey, hey, check that out, guys. 458.51 gigs free of 499.25. So there are still 37 gigs of other random crapola on this computer, but I can deal with that and uh, I'll clear it up later anyway. So that's great. So screen sharing is a great feature, guys. You can see here we're on my Mac Pro. Um, this is my dock and everything. And if I go to about this Mac, you can see, you know, it's my Mac Pro. Um, but if I just go over a space, like so, we're on my Mac Mini. So I've put that into, I've put screen sharing into uh, full screen mode, and you can see this is my Mac Mini. So it's very handy. I can just flip between the two like that, and uh, you don't even need, it doesn't even need to be connected to the KVM now. So this is all very basic stuff, but um, I haven't had anything set up like this for a long time, so it'll be really nice to get this Mac Mini sorted. So guys, I've just realized, of course, I've deleted James' account, but of course, it's the same computer, so it has all the applications on, so that does indeed explain the scenario with the space. So he does have App Zapper installed, so we can actually use that. Here we have it, App Zapper. Now, it may ask us to re-register. I'm not too sure because it's a different account, but anyway, I've, um, hang on, what's this? App Zapper 2 registration. Yeah, uh, it's fine. I've got the, I've got the code somewhere. We'll sort that out in a minute. But um, yeah, so I've renamed this computer to Neptune. Okay. Uh, now I love naming computers after planets. I just don't know why. Um, the the Mac Mini G4 can be something else. It can be Venus or something like that. I just yeah. This is good. This is Neptune, and this is going to be my file server for now, you know, so this is this is cool um, and everything's working great like I said, you know, Mac Pro there my server there, so that's fantastic um, I just need to grab the code for App Zapper and then we'll start killing some apps so I've just registered App Zapper um, with the same code that I've been using for years um, but anyway let's start zapping some of these applications, so we do not need the Adobe Suite now I've cloned James's um, I've cloned James's hard drive over, so all his stuff's on the new one. So yeah, we restored from the time machine backup, that's it. So, you know, we don't need any of this stuff. So let's just, we'll do a few at a time, just in case it, uh, Aperture is an application. This application aperture is created by Apple and cannot be zapped. To zap Aperture, please disable this, save you. Uh, show preferences. Keep app, look, yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> okay. Play zapping sound effect, yes please. Okay, so redrag, drop in there. Okay, so here we go, guys. If you don't know what App Zapper is, it basically finds every little bit and bob with every application, so it cleans everything up, which is great. So if we press zap, does it do sound through screen sharing? I'm not too sure. So it asks for my password. What's happened? I've got caps lock on. Okay, it's a lot for it to delete at one time. But it's doing it. They've disappeared from Finder. There's stuff in the trash. It is doing it. So guys, I've gone through all the apps. It took a while because, uh, you know, this isn't the fastest Mac in the world and uh, it took a little while for App Zapper to uh, sort out all the apps. But anyway, as you can see, we've regained pretty much all of our space. I believe that the only uh, stuff that's taking up space on there now is things like Apple Loops and whatnot, um, which are obviously left over from uh, the Logic and GarageBand installs. So I'll deal with that in the future. I'm not too concerned about it now. But here we are, all set up. This is my Mac Mini, my Intel Mac Mini, really chuffed with it. So this is going to be used as a file server. Um, as soon as I get all of my external hard drives configured and connected properly, um, it's also going to be used as uh, my computer to upload YouTube videos. So I'll upload all of my YouTube videos on here. That will save me keeping my MacBook Pro, uh, my Mac Pro running 24/7. And it'll also download torrents, so if I've got big torrents running, then I'll uh, use this machine. So it's going to be an all-rounded, really nice, handy machine. Um, it's got a max power consumption of 110 watts, so it's extremely efficient to keep running 24-7, and it's going to be really handy. This won't be in full 
operation until about January because I am going to, um, over Christmas, I'm going to hopefully raise a little bit of money and uh, get a, a UPS and some new external drives and a few other little accessories that I want to get for the server setup. Um, probably a nice little rack case and stuff and get everything mounted nicely. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. But for now, I'll probably just um, sort out one of these shelves or something and keep the Mac Mini down there. And uh, it's going to be... Uh, used with the G4 as well. I'm going to use the G4 for some other stuff, uh, but that'll be a future video. So this is all configured. One thing that I am going to do is buy a license to Carbon Copy Cloner because I'm going to get some, a lot of automated um, backups and stuff uh, running. Now I'm not going to use scripts and stuff because I'm just not good enough with this kind of thing. I, I do want an application to run my automated backups and stuff. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, everyone, please stick around for the next one. Also, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the video before this one, then please go and check it out. It is indeed the upgrade to this Mac Mini. Sorry if this video has been a little bit all over the place, but I was kind of improvising. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Sometimes you have to do things to know what you're actually going to do, if that makes sense. But anyway, before I talk your ears off anymore, guys, please head down into the video description and check out all the useful links down there and uh, give it a read. There's lots of useful information information regarding how you can connect with me and my channel. Um, I really recommend doing so because I'm uploading five videos a week and it is pretty damn fun. I'm loving it and you guys are also really enjoying it as well. So without further ado, it's time for me to sign out. Not sure what tomorrow's video is going to be, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I'll see you all very soon.